So this is uh, Lamb Hill Cemetery, St Kentigern's, up off uh, Balmore Road. Go along Saracen, up Balmore Road, and then it's up on the left there, you know. November 2012. So it's, that's just the main road there, through the cemetery. The cemetery is absolutely massive. It's probably much bigger than... Probably one of the biggest cemeteries in the whole of Glasgow, if it's not the biggest. It's driving about earlier and it's massive. So that's a back entrance over there, down the road. And Grandad's stone, John Cassidy, he's buried up here. That's the back end of the stone there. It's fairly well overgrown after a few years. Just give you a perspective here. Just off the main road there, the wee road. And I'll walk up to the place. A bit of afternoon sunlight coming through. So that's the back of the stone. There's a lot of ivy on it, you know. So there's another big stone just beside his one. Um, we'll have a look at Grandad's stone now. What does it say here? It says from the top. Erected by John Cassidy. In loving memory of his wife, Mary Murray. Who died 1st of February 1910. Aged 34. 34 years. Also their son, wee Jackie, who died in his third year. And it says here now, it's regarding Grandad. The above, John Cassidy, JP, who died 7th November 1942. And then further down the stone it says, R.I.P. Now, just to give you information about the stone beside this one, erected by Elizabeth Quayle in loving memory of her husband, Patrick Murray, who died 29th of March 1906, aged 56. The above Elizabeth Quayle, who died September 1916. Her son's Thomas Murray, who died November 1931, aged 50. The very Reverend Eugene Cannon Murray. So, there's a Murray there. And Grandad's first wife was Mary Murray. So there's obviously, well, you would think there's a very strong chance that there's a connection between the two stones. Obviously they're very close and the names are the same, you know, Murray, so. Anyway, I'll have a zoom in now. Directed by John Cassidy. Loving memory of his wife, Mary Murray who died 1st of February 1910, that says, aged 34 years, and also the son wee Jackie, who died in his third year, the above John Cassidy, who died 7th November, it says, it's not very clear, I need to, I need to clean it all up, you know, JP, uh, 1942, rest in peace, and I think there's a, there's a number probably on the side of the stone, if I remember rightly, 
I'd have to have a look about for it, you know. Mm. Anyway, it's a lovely cross. I remember it the last time I was here, but it's been a few years since I was here, so it's totally covered over, you know. Well, it's not totally, but it's quite well covered over in terms of growth and stuff. Ivy and all these things. God bless you all. God bless you all. May you all rest in peace. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen.